They are the latest examples of local folks putting the win in Winnipeg. The winners of season eight of The Amazing Race Canada are best friends who met here at the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. Their journey on the reality competition show is being called one of the most inspirational in the show's history. CBC's Marjorie Dow spoke with the duo today following the season finale last night. Winnipegger Catherine Reeford Ledlow and her best friend Craig Ramsey are celebrating their big win today. The pair, also known as Team Broadway, are the winners of season eight of The Amazing Race Canada. Their longtime friendship, dating back 25 years, started here in Winnipeg when they both attended the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. Together, they raced through five provinces and traveled over 20,000 kilometers and have been through everything together, including Catherine's battle with terminal brain cancer. Answer. With Catherine's situation, with her terminal brain cancer, um, she does need some guidance in terms of identifying what might be struggles that she isn't able to identify. Um, I love the fact that a side effect of Catherine's uh, brain tumor being removed is that she lives in a state of positivity, but there's also like complete unawareness of that. So like all the times when she's asked, did the brain cancer affect your race? And she's like, nope. No. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it did. But she overcame every single thing. And we have that friendship where I'm able to sit down with her and she asks me to identify what she needs to do to work on herself, which is a, a heartbreaking moment for me, but she's able to pull through and do that. She rewires her brain and she refuses to let anything get in her way. She is a true warrior. So oh, it was, uh, it was really special to me to be with my best friend and, and travel Canada and having gone through what we've been through just proved to me that anything that I put my mind to anything that I really decide I want to do, I can get through because I ask for help. I ask for help from him. I ask for help from my husband. I ask for help from my family. I get so much support and so much love. And I, I want to give that back to everybody else by, you know, being an advocate for brain cancer and being an advocate for people that are, are have terminal illnesses and terminal diseases except you didn't ask my help during the goat challenge you actually told me to shut up and i'm <laughs> grateful that you did because you saved the day Catherine. i have to ask you an update on your health how are you doing great i mean i had an mri last friday and i get the results this friday so i'm a little bit in the scanxiety mode but um every three months i have them so hopefully friday i'll get some good news <laughs> was there something that you'll cherish or take away or is just memorable overall well, it's a, a huge relief that we yes. can actually say that we won. Yeah. We've been holding it back for so long. It just felt like a... <sighs> An exhale. Yeah. yeah. He's the person that makes me laugh. I have laughed so hard. I cried so many times on this race, like mostly in our hotel when the stress was not there. Please stop. <laughs> okay. um... <laughs> I mean, the whole race collectively was mm -hmm. just an incredible experience. But at the end, when we were crowned the, the the title holders of Amazing Race Canada season eight, uh, just the amount of pride I have in, in Catherine and um, in you. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that we did this together, and I just think back at twenty five years ago, <laughs> you know, telling young Catherine and Craig, these are the adventures you're going to have. Um, yeah, yeah uh, we. I know that's we did it. yeah. I haven't even thought about that. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm really overwhelmed with the amount of love and support that um, the LGBTQ uh, community has shown me, and they, uh, they say that uh, I proudly represented them, and thank you for that. Team Broadway says they're going to take some of the quarter of a million dollars they won and give it back to the place they met. They say they plan to start a scholarship fund at the Royal Winnipeg Ballet to help future dancers achieve their goals. Marjorie Dowhouse, CBC News, Winnipeg.